Hello everyone, today I want to talk about Banzai Cloud Bank Vaults. This is application written in front of Hashcore Vault. They wrote their own operator and their own webhooks. It is their official GitHub record repository, which myself read tons of information from this repository and it is their own official documentation link, which you can get tons of information from here too. And this is a link which I am not showing domain name due to security reason to our environment, sexual level stage environment, uh, like as infrastructure domain. And uh, what what I want to explain at this article actually. Uh, firstly, I want to say they wrote their own operator and in front of it, they prepared their own custom resource definition. With this custom resource definition, after deployment of operator, which they wrote, you can write your own CRD file which will deploy Vault itself. So let me switch to the code files which I prepared. I will push these code files and I will write documentations in official GitHub repository and their own page from where I got this information to understand how we can, we can achieve this part. So this is code files. Let me switch on it and to show what I did. Actually, I just created totally different namespace where I deployed their own application I'm an operator and after deployment of operators they have their own service account role and role binding even from documentation you will get it. I deployed it and important it is important part which I want to say I needed to map some ingress rule to bank vault application to UI UIHCF vault. I faced an issue which I will show you how I resolved this part too. At the same time I needed to use not with not simple way to do that. I needed to deploy this with high availability mode and to choose some of the backend storage which will support high availability mode too. I mean if I will execute right now command vault status I will see from output we have sealed files because I've, I've configured auto unseal with Google storage bucket and it is auto unsealed. We can see Google storage type like as backend we use here. High availability mode enabled true. At the same time, high availability mode active. We can see active right now vault one and it works. I mean, to achieve this one, I want to show what I did. We will see it is ingress through and at the same time, we will see the configuration in this part, which I did. Let me explain at the end what else I did, and then I will switch to show configuration files, of course. So after that, this part even you can get from official documentation, but I have integrated with GitHub at the same time, I have integrated OIDC, it's Google Authentication method with client secret and token, and do that. You can use one of these ways. Right in, in this syntax I'm showing, you can do login with token which you created your own personal access token in GitHub and method type is GitHub. It is deployment of webhook services and it is actually a service account which I am defining here to use inside of my application to map via, to, to communicate with Hashcore Bank Vault. So actually it is Hashcore Vault. So it's a way to get their own generated TLS certificate to use inside of your own your own namespace but in, a, in my case I just did I mean what does it mean when when you will deploy it it's going to generate automatically vault itself certificates and to use these certificates first way you can import to your application char certificate which generated the certificate to communicate with HTTPS protocol because otherwise it will say it's self sign on certificate and you cannot com communicate with it and second way you can ignore it which I will show you documentation right now so I will close the readme and we done it right now so it is one of the main YAML files which I want to show it is custom resource definition file and CRD object uh, kind vault which will deploy inside of vault namespace unseal config it is going to map to k-ring inside of Google Cloud and to use which key to do out unseal what does it mean it means when you will deploy Vault in cluster mode, at least it will go... So, to achieve quorum of the cluster, it will bring at least three nodes. But 
one of these nodes must be in active state and when when service will map traffic between them it's going to choose by round robin algorithm of course in case of in case of stateful set vault server will be uh, first node in in any way but to achieve full a full auto seal mode i mean one way you you can go to uh, inside of each of port and do vault operator on seal it is not a good way of course you don't know when cluster autoscaler will delete some of the workers and new worker will come there and probably one of the pods will work inside of this worker and do that you must by hand go to inside of pod do vault operator on seal that's not a good way good way to automate this with on seal configuration it doesn't matter in any of the clouds AVS supported too, I'm pretty sure of that. I've done this before and about error, I'm not sure. In this case, we use Google Cloud. So we use here service account vault. It is by default inside of service. So it is configuration of Ashcore vault. We can see it is defined to use encrypted way between services communication and HTTPS protocol will be used here even from services to communicate to bank vaults. And UI true, it is certificate which will use it. External configuration to create policies inside of UI. Of course, we can find it to with their capabilities what they can do inside of bank vaults. Authentication types we use Kubernetes at the same time, which I said before, GitHub, OpenID, OIDC. At the same time, configuration for OIDC. I will not show, of course, uh, values of OIDC, but it is configured right now it is credentials to communicate with Google Cloud of course you must to uh, read about that how you can achieve this in my case the secret name this one and uh, the path of the secret defined like as this in my secret you must to create your own which will be defined all roles I mean it is actual access to service account I mean object name service account in Google Cloud and with this object you will get some access inside of Google Cloud to, to give access to Hashcorp Vault, I mean back vaults, of course. So right now I showed you vault status. I will try to execute still get pods company SS, MSS, we will see it is 12 minutes running. Of course we can see logs minus F minus N company MSS. It is my code, actually my code is going to print output of the secret from inside of from inside of the deployment. Let me show this part just to be clear. This is deployment actually. So big point of bank vaults is it's not going to bring inside of my pod another uh, container like as agent injector vault, agent of vault, uh, Ashcore vault itself. In bank vaults, they not use uh, with mutating, I mean with map hooks, they use their own init container, which will bring with vault env inside of my container the path to the key actually, not key value itself. I mean, one, one big point agent will not present there, another point I cannot get the real value even if I will go inside of pod to get value. I mean, look at this. Right now, I'm here defined we use pass like as Kubernetes OWS. I'm going to skip verify through of uh, HTTPS, of course. If I mean, even self science certificate will be present, said it doesn't matter, it will work. So it is pass of vault itself. It is role which I created actually inside of uh, this file which I showed before. We, even, we can find it, company name, role, we can find it here. So my code is going to execute inside of command in Alpine container, inside of 1000 iteration for each one second, just echo, which we see here right now, some string. And string going to be get from the, this path. So it means even if I will do, let me switch to page actually, I'm trying to log in with GitHub authentication way, or it doesn't matter really. So it's configured to our organization to specify team where my user is included to this drop, and do that. I'm working right now. 
if I will do logout or choose OIDC, it works definitely too. I'm going to pass which defined in my configuration. Can you see secret data demo secret AVS, secret data demo secret AVS. Data is predefined pass which we must define, uh, define here, otherwise it will not work definitely. So if I will go inside of pod itself, doesn't matter for iteration, I want to exact inside of pod. Minus IT, minus, minus show. So if I will try to echo variable, and you see, we can see only pass to the K, not value. As I said before, two big points. One of them, there is no vault agent which injected, uh, like a sidecar. Another point, we cannot read inside of pod real value. So only process ID, our microservice process ID, which executed, can see the value this k from bank vault, hash core vault, actually. I hope it will be useful. Thank you for watching.